Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Alright, just got my Kim Chow 1 210. But here's the thing, tomorrow's patch is gonna be there's no old admin soldier, alright? We have some interesting units making a rerun. And let's talk about it because I think some of you guys are still deciding or contemplating if these units are worth pulling for. Some of you guys might not have owned any of these. So this video is about that. Let's jump into it. Okay, so there will be a maintenance again tomorrow, as usual. And as you can see, we're gonna have some compensation given out to us. Uh, 300 quartz and 1000 Eternium. Now here's the thing, there's nothing new except for the new banner. So this week is pretty much a rest week. And I do think it's a good thing in my opinion because that means something is going to come next week. And I do hope it's going to be a big massive banner. For this particular week though, we're going to have a new rerun banner for Rosaria and Xiaolin. Now these two characters are both really really good, they are both strong. But we're going to talk about their future proofness if they can actually maintain their ranks ETC. And you can see in the shop, they're adding company reinforcement punch in. Alright, so event timer uh, from 22nd July to 5th of August. So I'm not sure what this is about. Apparently there's a new shop, but we'll see what this is about. Uh, there'll be three special packages, set tuning binary special package, classified recruitment 5 plus 1 special package and good luck 3 times quartz package and of course some new special coin supply package a bunch of new things so basically nothing much this week if you have been spending a bunch to try to get awakened heal day so i'm guessing this rest week is good for you you know you get to save up a little bit more but if you haven't been pulling for a while i know you have been, you have been itching for sure but here's the thing rosaria and Xialin. so let's talk about them briefly in this video in my opinion Rosaria is worth pulling. I think that she's ev she's a unit that everyone should have. Now, why is that? Rosaria is a flying unit, which makes her really, really different against a lot of other ground units. Now, if you notice, there's a lot of units that hits ground only, and they can't really target Rosaria specifically. And that's why Stinger Gunner is a thing. That's why Karin Wong is a thing. Because not many units can deal with air units, whether you like it or not. We don't have that many options right now which is why she is really really strong and also she has immunity to damage for four seconds upon deployment so this makes her even stronger because if you know how to use her correctly she can kill off her counters before they are able to kill her during these four seconds every time you deploy her she will have the special skill which has a valid hits of three that will be able to kill a bunch of units it does so much damage this particular skill it also costs some hit stun and knock the enemies back as well now as you can see rosara has a very unique skill right here on her basic hit she has this ability where she basically knock air units knocking them backward with aoe damage which is something that you can try to abuse and her ultimate skill is also really really good so rosara has a realist she has similar role to Gayun. Now if you don't have Gayun, I am gonna say Rosara is a pretty much a very stable strong ranger for the time being to substitute Gayun in a way. Now Gayun is really really strong and at 3 cost I would say Gayun is gonna be better. But Gayun is almost always perma ban. And at this week she is 4 cost, right? Gayun is 4 cost. So you have to choose between Rosara or Gayun. Now that really depends, some players prefer Rosara, some players prefer Gayun. I would say they both are strong in their own way and they both can deal with each other with their own way. Depending on which one you want to invest more in, it's up to you. But they are both like a really solid ranger that will last in a long time. So if you don't have Rosara, I think she's going to be a solid choice moving forward. But what about Xiaolin? Alright, let's talk about Xiaolin because she's going to be a little bit different. Now Xiaolin is one of my first character that I got to level 100 and she's also my first character that I applied this lifetime contract. But sadly, there's not much chance for me to use her because she gets countered by a lot of units. Now there's multiple ways to build Xiaolin. You can go for crit damage, you can go for attack speed. The reason why people want to go for crit damage is because she has this passive skill that will allow her to always inflict uh, crit damage. She will always crit on her hits. So increasing her crit damage makes a lot of sense, but you could also increase her attack speed because she's always critting. So increasing her attack speed to make her attack more is also an, a viable alternative. So those two are going to be one of the more common builds for Xiaolin. Now the problem with Xiaolin is not that her skills are bad, it's just that there's a lot of counters for her and mainly Kang So Young, right? I think Xiaolin being a 4 cost is probably her biggest issue. When you place a 4 cost unit and Kang So Young can just kill her almost instantly with 2 cost, 
uh, that's probably just something that will make you lose a battle. So Xiaolin is still really, really strong in my opinion, but you have to know the strategy of when to deploy her. She's not someone that you can just, you know, place in there and expect her to do her job. You have to set up her properly and you have to make sure that she goes in in the right time. So in PvE, Xiaolin is going to be solid everywhere for sure. But then we also have other snipers like Sanae, we also have Sylvia, and we also have Adele. So those are also viable snipers. But in my opinion, Xiaolin is going to be strong still. And I think she will be strong for at least five to six months. The thing is, she's also always banned, which is which really frustrates me. At four cost, it's fine to use her. But at five cost, I think she's too much, all right? For someone to have five cores and for someone be as squishy as her, like look at her HP, she only have 21,000 HP. She almost have no defense and almost no evasion at all. So regardless, like if enemy comes in and just kung her, she's gonna die 99% of the time. So she does a lot of damage, but she's also a really risky unit. So if you think about it, she's more of a high risk, high reward kind of character and you have to know how to place her correctly. But if you don't have a strong sniper, I would advise you to pull for her because having one or two sniper is going to be really really crucial against titan teams like mech teams in general right to get rid of titan having her she obliterates titan instantly all right if you have trouble with titan just place her in and she basically just three shots a titan or something like that so yeah that's my thoughts on both xiaolin and rosaria I don't think I'll be pulling for them because I already got them, right? I don't think, I don't see why I need to pull for them. But let me know if you guys are going to try to get either one of them. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.